Hey guys, Jeff here in my um, secret man cave in uh, in Sydney, Australia. Um, currently under lockdown, so I thought I would um, make use of my time and um, throw a little uh, little video together for you guys on Pico. Um, this is a new 4425A, which is the Smart BNC. It's not just to showcase Pico. It's you know what we can do with a, a any oscilloscope, be it, you know whether it's a, a snap-on or a, you know a, a G scan, what, whatever you've got. It's a tool in the box. It doesn't have to be Pico. Pico's uh, what I've got to hand. I have got a snap-on scope, if uh, and I could probably do this test with a snap-on scope. But let's do this one first. So what we're going to do is a relative compression test. Really simple. Um, even I can do it. You know, this is like a, it's like oscilloscopes for dummies, is what I'm going to call it, because I am a bit of a dummy. I'm not saying you guys are. I do know because I travel around Sydney quite a bit. There's quite a few picos in the box, in the in the uh, cabinets. You know, let's get them out. Let's get them used. Um, I'll show you how I have the pico set up. Um, I use a a, a Dell touchscreen monitor. Just makes life so much easier. But I'll. Uh, I'll show you that shortly. So I'll get the car ready and uh, I'll try and do it in real time so we can just see how quick it is. Um, this car's got no running faults at the moment. I probably will break it. Um, without further ado, let's get the test done. So I've got a 2000 amp clamp. I've just bunched it around whatever I can now, the starter motor. I've disconnected the um, I just pulled out the um, EFI fuse just to uh, prevent it from starting. Nothing's changed there. Uh, everything's still plugged in. Um, I've got the throttle pedal wide open. Just performing this just like you would do any normal compression test. Um, please ignore the mess in the in the, uh, in the garage. But uh, this is what I was saying. It's nothing fancy. Um, I have just got a Pico boom today, so I will pop that. It, this is just a $100 trolley from um, Total Tools. Um, got my uh, trusty tough book under, hiding under there. You can use like a, a tiny PC or a micro PC. Um, just a quick one regarding laptops and Pico. You don't need anything you know you don't need a gaming laptop to um to run the pico you know a lot of people ask me you know do i need to buy a fancy laptop you could run it on a surface pro um you know anything that's got windows 10 on it or you know something that you go and buy from harvey norman or jb hi-fi it's going to do it's going to do the trick but this is my favorite thing and this is the touchscreen monitor um I'd, I'd rather buy a cheaper laptop and invest in a monitor. Um, it's now misbehaving. There we go. I didn't press it twice. I'm still not quite used to the touchscreen myself. So as you can see, the Pico flashes up all, all nice and lovely. Now we're going to cheat. Because I'm trying to get people using the scope, we're gonna we're gonna do the, the guided test. So um, let's go for it. So hopefully you can see all this. Um, so I'll get it in there. The two captures of it anyway. So this is our guided tests. Let's try and keep it uh, simple. Starting and charging. Starting. Relative compression gasoline so we can we can load the file straight onto our the preset file straight onto our uh, computer or we can read a uh, you know a bit of a how-to we're not going to do the how-to let's load the settings file so that's telling me what it should look like in theory so let's do always just take note if you're using guided tests have a look at the uh, you know the have a look at the time bases and things like that. Get get used to, get used to what it's what it's saying to you. Um, you see here we've got a trigger. Do you know what? Let's turn let's turn the um, let's turn the trigger off. 
So we're going to start the scope. apologize just to tidy it up so let's stop the scope if you're not using a touchscreen monitor you can just press the space bar um, you know do it that way so um, so we're going to where our, our where it's captured our waveform so I mean it's quite self-explanatory let's have a look at this one here so that just might look like a load of wavy lines but what, what we've got is we've got uniformity so we know this engine's good. Um, we don't know what you know, we don't know what cylinders of these these are. Uh, it's only a four cylinder, so it's going to be one three four two. We, we don't know where number one is. Um, but what we do know is that there's there's no there's no issue here. We, we we you know if we had a a misfire or a bent valve or something strange going on, we, we know that there's not much point doing a. You know, like putting WPS in it, or, or pulling all the plugs out and doing a, um, you know, a, a, an old-fashioned compression test. Um, that's past my test. I'm moving on to my, you know, part of my diagnostic process. I'll, I'll probably move on. You know, let, let's look at another reason why we've got, you know, problem A, B, or C. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to sync it, and I'm going to sync it um, to number one cylinder with. With this beast, the uh, coil and plug adapter. So give me two minutes and I'll get it set up. Okay, I'm back. So this is the last test that we'll do. So what I've done is um, I've just plugged in a uh, the coil and pro uh, coil and plug paddle, which is obviously I'm going to have to hold it in position. But um, so we've got channel A and channel B now active. Um, uh, let's give it a go. This is when you need a glamorous assistant. Oh. <clears throat> so then let's stop the scope. So we can see in our uh, gallery here. Let's click on this one. Let's have a look. So. These, this is our, our uh, start, starter current, and this is a uh, uh, number one coil firing. So, as I said before, we're not going to change any of the settings from the guide from the guided test. But if we if we just hit this button here, you can see how it's how it's made the uh, the peaks look look bigger, easier to see. So this is cylinder one, cylinder one, cylinder one. So one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, and so on and so forth. I could pull a plug out, but what you're gonna see is you're gonna see uh, a smaller peak. Screw it, I'm gonna pull a plug out. Okay then. Let's have a look at this one. Let's just change. Let's just change that. Bring it back up. So, um, can anybody tell me what spark plug I took out? So, just a, a bit of a recap. All this is, let me uh, just remove this. All this current is, is is cranking current. It's power to the to the starter motor. So, so these are these are all peaks. As the as the, as the um, piston gets to the top, it's it's squeezing harder. You know, there's probably a better way of explaining it. But uh, all we're looking at is is current. So this is a sixty six 
amp hour battery I think so as a rule of thumb it's three times so how many amps have we got kind of sort of there so about 100, 190 amps so pretty sure my battery and, and the starter motor are, are, are both good there um, I'm, I'm not concerned that but but do do have a look at that if you've got if you ever get any queer readings have, have a look at the amount of current I'm pretty sure it's either three or three and a half times the uh, uh, battery cranking amps that we should be seeing um, there's guys out there uh, some boys from uh, TAT have done some good videos on this um, a big shout out to, the, to those guys um, obviously Scanadana uh, Rob Romano you know, I'm just I'm just having a little go, just trying to encourage people to, to use the tools that they've got. Uh, if they're thinking about buying one, this has took this has took me longer turning the cameras on and off than to actually do the job. It's literally took me three minutes. So that was my sort of um, idiot's guide to don't don't worry about it. Don't, you know, if you've got a Pico, just just hook it up. You know, get used to using your amp clamps. Get used to you. You know your, your um, times ones leads. You 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 your back probing. You know, doing your voltage and your current. But as as something just to help you get the pico out, I really think um, something like a relative compression test is going to um, going to really help. Especially if you're trying to diagnose your you know your V6 V8, your diesel V6 and V8s. You know, they're a bit of a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I do understand some of the uh, scan tools of, uh, you know, they have a version of a, you know, a voltage drop uh, relative compression test. Or I think some of the Euro, the, your BMWs and your Volkswagens have that. But this is an, it's, I, I kind of like to see it, you know, and, and we learn every time I turn the Pico on, I learn a bit more. I'll tell you what I've learned today. To move the Pico closer to the car because I tripped up over one of the bloody leads. So, you know, every time we're always learning, we never stop learning. If you found any of this helpful, let me know. Um, I have just got a uh, Pico first look sensor, which I'm, I'm keen to try out. Um, you know, I want to do a, a crankcase pressure test. Uh, you know, uh, let's have a look at what's going on in the crankcase. Um, I can do that with a WPS tr pressure transducer or uh, a Piezo first look, first look sensor. All this you can Google. There's heaps of videos, heaps of information out there. As I say, we've got our boys over in Australia. We've got uh, TAT, um, Rob Romano, um, what the hell, um, Glenn Newitt, all super, super clever guys. If you're thinking about buying a scope or whatever brand, you know, there's, there's, there's people out there that are going to help us and, and progress. But we're not going to progress by leaving it in the cupboard. So um, there's a couple of guys I'm not going to mention. I'll take them out of the box and... And use them you know if you want some links to where i bought my monitor from or the stand or, or you know whatever makes it usable drop me a, a message or, or comment below and um, i'll do it for you but anyway if you want me to do another video let me know i will get better i'm going to spend five hours editing this now so uh, that's me losing the light i'm going to go and drink a beer and um, do some video editing so uh, thank you very much